Here we go for the Super Motards. Still no Mark White out there. Uh, obviously bike problems after that first little uh, incident, but uh, we'll be looking for Nick Campenhout as well. Great day that he's been having. Cudge Scott there, got the start from Nick. Yeah, it's good to see a few off-road guys out there. Lovey, you know, you've got um, ben, Ga ben Gage and yeah. Whitey, and obviously Nick, you know, he's an, he, he's an old hand at motocross as well. Yep, and uh, Nick doing the hill climb and a heap of other events, and uh, nice to see him bringing that 701 against the 450. A little bit more grunt there, but Cudge shut the door on that first lap. Oh, one down. Oh, and there's Bennett scooting off onto the grass, eh? So very different to the motocross micro. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, you know, again, it's just about uh, building confidence and trying to get a little bit quicker each time you go out. You know, and it's good having, um, you know, Connor London down in our, in our garage and getting some advice off him and obviously the, the Rees boys. And there's no shortage of advice out there, so you just got to kind of listen and uh, look and learn, really. And that's the cool thing with the Hamilton Motorcycle Club, eh? Or all motorcycles small out there and helping people to get out there on motorbikes and have some fun and do it in a safe environment. And that's what, why I've always done these days and help out these days. It's a great club. And uh, thanks heaps for the Kawasaki. You're working there at Kawasaki now. And it's great to see you guys getting behind this and uh, creating the Kawasaki Road Race Series. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's been great. Like, you know, obviously Kawasaki's got a pretty proud history in, in road racing, you know, here and overseas. So it's, uh, you know, it's about getting out there and, and supporting kind of grassroots and getting bums on seats. Uh, and yeah, we're uh, thoroughly enjoying it and, and it's, you know, great to be partnered with um, the Hamilton Motorcycle Club to do this. Uh, it's getting pretty hectic out there. It looks like uh, Nick's doing exactly the same thing. Uh, he's got a good start, warmed it up and scooted into first. Cudge Scott's having a great day there, sitting in second place and keeping him honest, but then there's that four-pack that's just going to turn into a dust-up. Uh, normally John Oliver and the Oliver boys are dominant, and Tony, Tony Herney as well. Uh, they seem to get away <laughs> quite a lot at uh, the other ones, but um, Nick's showing them a clean pair of heels. He's got, some, he's got the hammer down. Yeah, he's going for his third win in a row here today, so no, he's looking good out there. Also, while I'm on the microphone, a big happy Mother's Day to my mother. Thank you for having me. Congratulations. And uh, to all the other mothers out there, my uh, other mother, Vicky Rees, and uh, Liz Holmes as well down the South Island, and all the other mothers that uh, feed me. Well said, Jared. <laughs> Three laps to go then. Nick's got a big lead and uh, Kudge looks like he's just lost track of him a little bit and he might fall down to Tony. I'm sorry if I've got your name wrong, Herney. And uh, followed there by Anthony, Oliver, Kyle, Cabral, Woods, Bennett Gage Brown, uh, Swartz and Hamish Boyd there. So have they given you a little bit of a play on the thousand yet, Mike, bro? No, and I don't want to. I'm quite happy on the little uh, Ninja 400, so it's, uh, you know, you've got to walk before you run, they say, and, uh, you know, we'll just uh, do these three rounds and then see where that takes us and just, uh, you know, basically learn the craft of road racing. So you've, you've jumped on, you've got your, your teeth into it and you've uh, tasted what it's like. Now you, you can look at what Mitch Rees has done, eh? Set straight away onto a super bike and then second year in the Subikes, the top, up the top, like uh, Damo, yep, jumped onto a 600, very good straight away, but then had to build, 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 and then won the 600 Super but to, to what Mitch has done straight away, and he's up for an award alongside uh, Blake Ross and Tony as well, which is great to see, and uh, great road race championships uh, last year, and uh, you've got to be pretty happy with Avalon Biddle at the last round. Yeah, I mean, Avalon came on real strong, obviously, at Hampton Downs and then and then winning a race here at the final round. So it's been good, and, you know, it's great to see the, obviously, Damo and Mitch doing what they're doing now. You know, I've helped them out in, in motocross in the past, and now kind of, you know, you can see it's, it's on the other foot now, the, the other masters you know, on the apprentice. So <laughs> it's uh, it's real good, and, yeah, I mean, they're just... Uh, 
they're riding really good and, and I know it'll be interesting to see this coming season actually. So a lot of people at road racing might know you but uh, I'll fill them in. I remember being eight years old coming along to Cambridge Lamb Street, dad running the meetings and you being dominant as until you broke your femur. I remember you having good scraps with Damon Smith and all of the boys and uh, some good times back then eh? and you've, uh, you've had a wicked international motocross career haven't you? Yeah, it's been good. You know, got to travel the world and uh, race internationally in Grand Prix, and uh, and obviously do a lot of winning domestically, which was uh, good. But um, yeah, you know, the, this is a whole different ball here, you know. And uh, I'm just uh, here learning and having fun. And but yeah, it's once you put the helmet on and line up, you know, you, you still get competitive, and uh, yeah, you just got to obviously keep yourself in check. Yeah, exactly the same. Look, Whitey hasn't been on the bike for. A a million years and he just jumps on and he, he had that last one in the bag didn't he until that one little slip up and we won't tease him about that at all we won't mention that no you know mark white went <laughs> down but you know that's like uh, problems otherwise he exactly. would have been all over it yeah yep. thank you for the job <laughs> last corner there for nick camping out yeah and a beauty oh, wheelie nice wheelie well done nick Hudge Scott there, uh, holding second place. Great race there. Tony there in third place, followed by Anthony, Kyle, Oliver, Cabral, see down in the last corner, Bennett, Gage Brown still doing the old motocross, put your leg out. Giving him a mean squirt down the finish on number 7100. Ex motocross boy. I think still a little bit of a motocross boy there, Bennett. And love to see his dad turning up too. And his son as well here on a beautiful Mother's Day. 